sit around the Yacht Club bar and talk about the things we're gonna do. Sit around the Yacht Club bar because it doesn't work. Oh, the seas are big, the swells are hard, but that don't bother me. I never get lost in the top of You're finally out there making your first offshore voyage, and the weather window slams shut. The wind howls, the seas build. Okay, Skipper, what's the plan, asks the crew as a boarding wave crashes through the cockpit. This is serious business, and you need to take action. If you've watched Lynn and Larry Pardee's video, Storm Tactics, Cape Horn Tested, study their techniques. All you need to do to become Hove 2 is just simply... Follow their equipment recommendations, we secure the tiller here with shock cord. And perform their suggested pre-voyage training. And figure eight it on deck. That way, when you let then the you are prepared to break the power of the seas and ride out the storm in relative comfort and safety. Closing in on 200,000 miles of blue water voyaging, Lynn and Larry Pardee are recognized as the sailing world's most experienced and knowledgeable cruising couple. In storm tactics, they provide a detailed look at the techniques and gear that have kept them safe at sea. In between learning segments, the parties offer up musical interludes to some of the more exotic destinations they've cruised. Their message, if you can tame the sea and your own inner doubts, you too can sail to the far corners of the world. Storm Tactics takes us aboard the Pardee's beautiful Lyle C. Hess-designed 29-foot engineless wooden cutter, Tallison. Built by Lynn and Larry and launched in 1983, Tallison is an evolution of Seraphin, their earlier 25-foot cutter, also designed by Hess. The Pardee's have completed a circumnavigation aboard Tallison, as well as an east-to-west rounding of Cape Horn, especially for this video. The parties explain why it's often not a good idea to run before the wind or lie a hull. Once they've got us in the proper mindset, Lynn and Larry introduce their proven age-old tactic for taming the seas. Through a combination of simple sketches and hands-on demonstrations, our hosts demystify the fine art of heaving to. Much of the remaining video focuses on the proper way to heave to in boats of various sail plans and hull designs. Though simple in concept, heaving to properly requires a full toolkit of sailing skills, and that's just what the parties deliver. Lynn and Larry begin by explaining how to use various combinations of reefed main, trysail, and storm jib to nestle your boat into calm waters while the seas crash around you. When the storm really starts to blow and you need a little extra help, the parties add the para anchor to the mix. The boat cannot sail forward because it cannot drag this. We learn how to properly size and rig the device. What you do is you lead it back here to the cockpit, onto the cockpit winch. How to deploy and adjust the para anchor as an aid to heaving too. Adjust the boat's trim to the wind by letting this in or out. This is the slick you want to develop, this to windward slick. The boat slides to leeward and creates this disturbance in the water, and this is the whole key to heaving two. And the do's and don'ts for safe and successful para-anchor retrieval. Have someone keep a bit of line tension on it, because you don't want the swivel and the parachute anchor to sink under your bow. The parties let us know that proper technique is not enough. Well, now let's get down to some of the details that'll help you feel much better about how you come through storms. 
you need to prepare your boat and yourself for heavy weather. Their checklist includes rigging details. The reason for this is that when they're on the leeward side and you're going to windward, they flop around a certain amount, like so. Heavy weather sails. They need to have good, strong leech lines and hollow cut into the leech of the sail. Deck preparation. Anything left on deck, consider it sacrificial. And below deck security. We use similar safety belts in our bunks. They also have these commercially available floor lockdowns. But perhaps most importantly, the parties share their philosophy about preparing for storms at sea. When the wind blows up, they challenge us to come about and test ourselves, rather than heading back to the comfort of our slips. As Lynn reminds us, let the sea be your teacher. In order to be a sailor, you've got to go to sea. Bringing this DVD aboard is the next best thing to having Lynn and Larry as your crew, coaching you on storm tactics as the seas build and the rigging howls. This is Tori Salvia for the Sailing Channel TV. Guys, I love to sail around the yacht club bar and talk about the things we're going to do. I love to sail around the yacht club bar because it doesn't move. Oh, the seas are big, the swells are high, but that don't bother me. I never get lost in my tummy as and toss. It's a wonderful life on the sea.